Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. You know, in other videos, we've talked about uh, Roundup glyphosate in uh, beers and wines. Uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to avoid it. Uh, you know, it's seen in everything from Cheerios to Quaker Oats to Ben and Jerry's ice cream to granolas. You got crackers, snack bars, and you got even honey, uh, corn flakes, Doritos, uh oh, Doritos, baby foods. Even uh, some people say they found it in cord blood. Um, you have it in about 75% of rain that's been reported. Uh, you know, counties such as uh, Los Angeles County has banned it. And also the city of Miami, who uses over 4,800 gallons of this stuff a year, has banned it as well. And in addition to, there's been a lot of, uh, of information in the, the uh, news lately. I know I told you, you probably don't watch the news, uh, but it's talking about the different lawsuits that have been lost by Monsanto due to it having the cause of cancer in some of these patients. In fact, I was just reading a little article uh, the other day on a lawsuit that's happening in France. Uh, and so there's reportedly another 11,000 cases in the pipeline against Monsanto and cancer and Roundup. But here's the problem. The problem is this stuff is everywhere. Uh, can we completely get rid of all our exposure to it? I don't think so but we can do what we can to reduce our exposure. Let's talk about the first simplest way you can reduce your exposure. And the first way is to grow your own garden. You know what you have in it. Uh, and I'm not saying it's feasible for you to grow everything that you're eating, but at least the most common things, right? The lettuces, the kales, perhaps even tomatoes, uh, you get the point. The more you can grow and the more you understand what you have in your produce, the better off you're gonna be. Now. If you've used Roundup in your yard before, you may be increasing your risk even further than what you can get elsewhere. So make sure that, that your yard has been clean and that you're using clean dirt, you're using clean waters. Uh, I know in my area we have ag water. How clean is ag water? Uh, I don't know. I think it's something to be tested. So it's something for you to think about. Number two, you can choose certified organic produce or foods. And that may make a difference. Now, I don't know if you recall the last video I did on glyphosate. They tested 19 beers and wine, and some of them were even organic, and they found glyphosate in uh, the organic ones, uh, in addition to the regulars. And they were not saying that the glyphosate was added to the product, but they think that it came from either prior soil exposure or from runoff from rain. So we still have to be concerned about it, but eating the right certified organic, uh, and usually if it's a good, good quality company, they'll usually do testing and your limits will be extremely low from those products. The third thing you can do is shop at your local farmer's markets or, or small health foods. I, I know that, that these local farmers can use Roundup just as good as anybody else. But usually if you develop a relationship with them or even go to tour their farm, you may see that, that it's not an issue. I know down the street from me, they have a big organic property. And when it was raining like crazy, there's weeds growing everywhere. But in part of this property, the weeds were dead. And, you know, it really helps you kind of wonder that uh, I imagine that those portions of those weeds were sprayed because everything everywhere else was growing. So it's something you really have to, to do a little bit of thinking about, but I'll bet money on it that that property had Roundup sprayed. I don't see any other solution. But like I said, develop a relationship with those farmers. Uh, I've asked many farmers before, hey, can I come look at your facility? And the, the good ones say, sure, no problem. In fact, I had one guy that did eggs. He even told me, he said, look, here's where my property's located. Don't call me, just show up. And I thought that was great. It was, a, it was a good will gesture to have me feel comfortable eating his products, which was great. The next one is to, to try and eat home more often. You know, who doesn't like to go out and have wonderful food prepared for them? I, I do. But you're increasing your exposure of possible contaminants and glyphosate as well. I don't think restaurants in most circumstances, not all, are going to be concerned with the, the cleanliness of the type of pesticides or herbicides in your food. Uh, I know that around us, we do have some, some really aware restaurants that may be concerned about it. Um, but for most of the, the restaurants, they're probably not going down that path. 
they want to provide a, a good food for you, but as far as testing to make sure it's glyphosate free, probably isn't going to happen. They're probably not concerned about GMOs and GMOs can raise your increased risk of glyphosate contamination. And they're probably not real concerned about organic unless it's a specific restaurant that focuses on that. And I know around us, we do have them. You may not have them around you, so be careful when you eat out. Roundup is not just in your food, but it can be in your water as well. So, you know, instead of just going ahead and trying to buy bottled water all the time, try and invest in a good water system. And you can even have your system tested. I know for my house, we have our entire house filtered, not just what we're drinking, but what we're showering and bathing in. Uh, you can eliminate a lot of the, the, the toxins, for example, the chlorides, the fluorides, and so on. So a good whole house filter can make a difference. And you can also use reverse osmosis on your drinking water as well if you want to take that extra step. Here's another pretty obvious one, but stop using Roundup in your yard. I know I hate weeds and weeds are everywhere. And it's just really so simple to spray this stuff and it kills the weeds. It's, it's fantastic but you're increasing your exposure, even if it's not in something you're eating. And that leads us to the next thing. If you have kids that play in parks, parks use this stuff all the time because how else are they gonna control their weeds? Uh, I would be very, very careful letting my children play in some of these parks because they will gain exposure. And the same with your animals as well. So that's a real big thing that you can do to eliminate some of the exposures. Make sure you're careful of the parks. Like I mentioned to you before, there, there's different cities and counties that are reducing their use of glyphosate, probably because all the lawsuits happening and, and them losing to these cancer victims. And so they don't wanna be exposed to liability. So in your county, you may wanna petition them to stop using Roundup for your health. So overall, can you completely eliminate your exposure to Roundup? I don't think so. But what you can do is reduce it. You can reduce it to an amount that hopefully your body can handle dealing with the detoxification of it. It may not be the entire smoking gun of your illness, but it may be the icing on the cake. I hope this helps.